Testing, testing. Got me there, Greg. Loud and clear, Jimmy. Welcome to Rugby Park for the President's Cup clash tonight, Greg. The uh, top two teams after round one, the Uni Pirates and the Darwin Dragons, as we head into round two. Beautiful, yep. sultry, balmy night here at uh, Marara. Yeah, wind's still there. It's eyed down slightly. Currently sitting at 84% humidity. <laughs> and a mild 26 degrees Celsius. Looks like Pirates kicking off, running towards the TIO Stadium end of the field. Robbie Butcher, ball in hand. And we're on the President's Cup. Scrappy ball, turnover to Uni. Cycling finds wise. Davy Taylor into some space. And he's cut down 10 short. Pirates still in possession. Davy Taylor, a uh, couple of tries last week against South. An electric winger for the Pirates. Butcher puts boot to ball. Was that a field goal? That's six points. It's gone through. What? <laughs> Kick that through the goals. That's a drop out. Dragons take the quick one. No one home. And he's found touch. About 35 out. That's a good kick. Who was that, Greg? Ah, uh, that's uh, Mika. Uh, Dragons new player this year. He's come from the southwest region of France. Oh. Might know Vinny. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's been really good games I've seen. Um, yeah, good good fullback, great kicking game. Well, I've got a team list here for the Pirates. Um, have you got one for Dragons? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Alright, mate. I'll just go through the Pirates team list while we're in the early stages here. We've got Gordon Meggs at loosehead prop, Daniel Lamble at hooker, Matthew Vitucci at tighthead, Zachary Mott and Nicholas Jenkins in the row. Caleb Montague on the side with Ben Parks. Wasali Sekatoga at number eight. Daniel Minchiff at half. Robbie Butcher, captain coach at ten. Dave Taylor and Mackenzie Fairfax are on the wings. Jesse Thompson and Isaac. Oh, I struggle with his surname. Tululai in the centres. Thomas Canavis at fullback. A few new players there for Pirates. So I don't recognise a few of those guys. So they've got some new players coming through this year. All right, Dragons team. Number one, Andy Mann. <coughs> Joseph Stanek in hooker. Uh, we've got Hare Winatana in the uh, tight head prop. Dan Hartett, Harnett and Ewan McKillop in the second row. Uh, we got... Tana Hines on the flank, along with Chris Beerman. Uh, number eight, Harini Little H. Murphy locking the scrum in. A uh, halfback, we've got uh, who we got? Nick Barlow, uh, Nick Beerman, fly half Shub, Damian Fitler Schubert on one wing. Drew Edward Sheeran in the centre. We got. Jonas Nicky, Hank the Tank Lewis on the wing, and fullback is Michael Bacat. We've got two, two on the bench, Greg Smith and James Truer for Dragons. Oh, James Truer. Yep. Impact. Ed Sheeran in the centres tonight. We're, we're looking for yeah, he's, um, some leadership out in the midfield. Yeah, he's the captain. Um, got a lot of voice out there. And... Great yeah. voice. He missed uh, last week's game. He was in Brisbane. <laughs> it's 
scrappy Lornette from Dragons. Managed to recover it. There's Huey doing the hard yards. Drew Tobin. Oh. Drew Tobin cheering. Massive cutout pass. Finds Ank the excitement machine tank. Lewis. <laughs> That's a big name. Dragons in. 5 nil. The scorer needs to add a little couple more there. Oh, he's, he's given three to uni. That's interesting. Dragons uh, strike first with a with a good try. They go wide off that line out, scrappy line out. But just too much speed out wide. Great ball from Ed Sheeran. Robbie Butcher looking for the forward pass call, but nothing wrong with that pass. And a good finish. He's brought that around near the sticks. Nick Beam and playing 10 tonight. He was your uh, in the centres last year. 2019 win. Yeah, um, he played a bit of centre, a bit of wing, a bit yeah. of fullback. Mm. Yeah, a bit of utility. It's good goal. I think he kicked the winning goal from about that same spot last year to beat Souths in the 89th minute. <laughs> yeah, I remember that well. Mm. So do I. <laughs> <laughs> Seven nil to Dragons. Deep kick off there. Dan Hunnett with the first run gives it off to Little H. Joe Stanek barges over. <coughs> Bit disorganised there from Dragons. Knock on uni scrum. Now, who do you think's got the advantage in the scrum? Yeah. Well, mate, I, I, what Dragons traditionally have a great scrum. I, I did watch their game against Palmerston last week. Palmerston really put it to the Dragons pack. Yeah, I think Dragons will be bolstered. Uh, a couple of the front rowers are back this week. Hare, Winatana and Jojo Khalid Stanek is back. And they just bring a lot of power to the scrum and experience. They just The work they do in the front row is just phenomenal. Pirates came up against Souths last week, so uh, being at Warren Park, there was no stream, so I, I, I don't have too much feedback on how the scrums went. But that looked pretty solid there, pretty even in the scrums. Yeah. Great ball from Butcher, picks up Isaac, former NT Mozzie Sevens rep, good leg drive. Davy Taylor slots into the halfback roll. Ben Parks, big leg drive. Butcher just feeding his outside men at the moment. He hasn't had a little dart yet. I'm sure that won't be too far away. Here he goes. And no clean out, and that's pinched by Dragons, but it's been pinched back by the Pirates. And we'll play a knock on. Last game, Greg uh, Cougars got over the, the top of Palmerston, who um, beat you guys last week, and, and Cougars a good win against Souths a couple of weeks ago. The comps, it's alive, it's pretty even, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's a good one for all the supporters from every club. But yeah, I just feel like the competition has been quite balanced the last couple of years, where each team's a threat to each other. Who's our referee tonight? I don't recognise him. Um, he's flown in from Brisbane uh, from the Premier Grade comp, so he should be pretty good. 
Uh, JP. That's oh, what he goes through. Oh. Off the left foot. And he's over. That's a try. Great try. Not sure who that was. I'll have to get my team sheet out. That's the inside centre. Jesse Thompson in the 12 jersey. Off a great ball by Robbie Butcher. Found some space off the left foot. A little swerve and just carried the defenders over. Uni hit back. 10 minutes in. 7-5. Kick to come. Won't be the last of we see of him tonight, I don't think. No, that was, that was, uh, that was a good try. First kick of the night, successful, 7-all. Well, he's had another kick earlier tonight. <laughs> it was <laughs> unsuccessful. I think he thought he was at TIO and he's put it between the sticks. So technically it's 13-7. <laughs> Good little crowd in tonight, maybe two, 300, Greg? Yeah, yeah it's good to see. Sorry, two, 3,000. <laughs> Oh, it's nice weather down here, so... It's beautiful weather. A little storm came through, and it's, um, it's a nice little breeze. And it's quite similar to last night out here for the juniors. A nice climate. Pirates looking to clear. Butcher onto the right. Finds Shuby. Floats little H. H with a big carry. Known for his carries, isn't he? He's known for loving his wife. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and his carries, to a lesser extent. Loose pass out there from the ruck. Good to see some props thrown, thrown passes. I love that. That'll fire Jojo up. Oh, Butcher with another cutout. Davy Taylor, he's 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 on the fly again. Oh, he gets around like uh, one of them drone. Oh, Ben Parks is through. Change direction whenever he wants. Davy, Davy Taylor, he's an electric footballer. again just distributing and we are ah, not releasing probably the um, first penalty of the night Greg yeah it's been a clean game 12 and a half minutes that is brilliant that's what we like to see Nick Beerman that's a oh is that found no Oh. oh, great skills. Now the touch, he's put his flag up. He's put a foot out. The touch, he looks a bit unsure. Dragons will get the line out. Hair might have been in his eyes. Ah, I watched this touchy referee the under-14s last night. He's a great little ref. Up-and-coming junior ref. It's good to see. And I just played against him in B grade at Swampies. Yeah. He's a good little footballer too. Dragons on the attack now. A loose pass out again there at the ruck. Scrappy ball there. Dragons with the advantage. Any um, any key players missing for Dragons tonight? 
Is Tim Yee, he's with, yeah. still with the club? Yeah, he's with us. Um, fractured his wrist. I think it was wrist, hand, thumb. Is in that vicinity uh, in the grand final. Just gone recently, so he's started training up again. He's looking to be back in the new year. Uh, so shout out to Timmy. Hi Tim, if you're watching the stream. Yeah, love you, Timmy. And who else have we got missing? Oh, Johnny, Johnny Tua, he's got an injured knee. There goes Mika. Bit Full of footwork. Is he new for you guys this year? He's a yeah. great player. Watched him quite a bit this year. He's Vinny's, Vinny's mate, remember? Caleb Nicky with a busted kneecap. Oh, I yeah. caught up with Caleb yesterday. He's a big loss for the club. Yeah. That ball's gone out. Yeah. That's injured at playing Aussie rules. Break his kneecap. <laughs> Come on, Caleb. But luckily for Dragons, Bank the Excitement Machine has really stepped up out of on the wing slash fullback, so Caleb, you better be training hard if you're on your position back. He actually said he'd um, join us in the commentary box tonight for a little hello and a, and a bit of a chat, so Caleb, if you're in the main stand, pop on over. Give us some expert analysis. So that's the second penalty and Dragons have opted for the scrum. Feeling confident. H with a carry from the back. Gets the offload to Beerman. Jojo. Has a ball ripped from him. Oh, good defence from the Pirates. The clearing kick. Well organised defence. About 35 out. Great line out there from Dragons. Pick and goes. Uni up to the task. Hit and he finds some meters. And Stanek. Sheeran with the ball. Great pill. Finds his, finds his outside player. Hands out front. Ball out to the side. But a little bit of humidity, a bit of moisture on the ball. The ball's gone down. I think it was too simple for Fittler Schubert there. He's, he's, <laughs> he needs the flashy stuff, the fancy intercept, not the, not the try line. The not, time and not space. the ball on chest. Yeah. Unlucky there, Shuby. He's not happy with himself there. We can see him cursing and looking at his fingers. Yeah. He's rubbing them together now. I played a game with Shuby last year. A sort of a little NT select v the Navy. I think he scored about eight tries. Yeah. <laughs> when he's on fire, he's on fire. I think I had eight tries. This <laughs> How many field goals? Eight? <laughs> Three.
Dragons get the third penalty of the night. You'd think they'd go a scrum again here, Greg. Yeah, if they've got the energy <coughs> for it. Big they boys get, working hard there. And they're getting on top in the pack. And they've gone the line out. So unpredictable, the Darwin Dragons. Robbie Taylor there on the sideline. He's got the same haircut as the uni halfback. <laughs> Dragons flip them all. Ball to the back. Stanek into space. Oh, off. Butcher with a pilfer right on the try line. Great defence again by the Pirates. And he's awkwardly put that onto the right foot. He should have thrown it onto the left. Finds Fittler. Fittler finds support with Huey. He's held up. H gets there in time. Sheeran with the ball. Offloads again. You haven't seen Sheeran's running game yet tonight. Yeah, he told me he's been working on his sprints. So he's <laughs> fast, fast as ever. Ah, and Pirates get their first penalty of the night after 21 minutes. Great defence by the Pirates. A poor clearing kick. They're under pressure again. They've defended staunchly to get their first penalty. Dragon's not releasing. Butcher will clear this. He'll look to get this up over the halfway line. A shout out to uh, Pirate Store, Marty O'Brien. I'm sure he's watching tonight. Welcome to the stream, Marty. Welcome to the stream. The dream stream. <laughs> no, that's that's what they call it. <laughs> we didn't make it up. Proudly sponsored by Mount Franklin Water. Loose line out by the Pirates. Dragons on the attack. So Pirate, uh, Dragons dominating the set piece at the moment in the, this first quarter. Yeah, just Paul's oh, ball Big fella's throwing a dummy. He's wrapped up by Wisey. And, oh, Ben Parks nearly with the pilfer. Moses with it, puts that onto the right foot. Here we go, Dragons. They've got the numbers. Finds the excitement machine. Wrapped up. Jonas Nicky with the ball. <clears throat> Passes it to himself. Regathers. That's the unorthodox Nicky method. <laughs> beats one, beats <laughs> two. Dummy, beats three. Hit and spin. That's just a sample of what he can do, ladies and gentlemen. Good run from Huey. Strong run. Gets his head through. Nick Barlow finds Jojo Stanek again. He's working hard this game. Oh, great. Great work from Uni forwards. Oh, the, ball, the ball's gone down. A loose carry. They had the numbers out wide, Dragons. Pirates hold on again. So we're just over a quarter of the game in, in the, the President's Cup, 1v2, in their second meeting of this 2021 wet season comp. It's humid, the ball's a bit slippery, but it's been pretty good footy. Greg? Yeah. No, surprising, surprisingly clean game. Um, low penalty count. Let's hope it keeps up. <coughs> saying in my throat maybe I should have some Mount Franklin's refreshing water uh, into you sponsor there we go Greg thank you there's a blue top for you Daniel Minchiff the scrum half for Pirates he's got the ball 
Pirates about 15 out from their own line, looking to clear. They haven't uh, had a lot of territory in the last 10 minutes. Um, a bit of a bit of a breeze, which is probably favouring the Dragons this half. Butcher will clear and we'll find touch. About 30 out. I think he's a. Uh, We've got some subs coming on. Rugby league player, Inch, Inchcliffe, from Brothers. Yeah, right. Didn't recognise him on the field, but didn't recognise the name. Daniel. Daniel. Pirates have gone early there in the line out, but Dragons have sec loosely secured it. They've ended up with it. <laughs> Nick Barlow <laughs> playing in the headgear. There goes Nicky again. Oh, Pirates there, just getting on the wrong side of that ruck. But it's play on. Great refereeing. Let the game go. Let it flow. Minutana finds some work. Dragons, third phase, fourth phase now. Nah, Pirates have pinched that. I think you'll see another Robbie Butcher hoist downfield. They'll need a good chase. He's outside his 22. He's put that high and back towards the middle. Schubert's picked up the fullback. 40 out. Huey, bit of footwork there. Rare for a second rower. Winantana. Trucking it up. Butcher moves up out wide, shuts it down. Here goes Andrew. Strong run. Finds meters. Barlow kicks it through, recovered by Uni, puts it on the left, relieves the pressure. Just messaging my wife, shout out to my wife, just putting the kids to bed down in uh, sunny Coffs Harbour, north coast, New South Wales. Shout out. Beautiful part of the world. The Souths have actually... Uh, South Darwin have recruited a couple of players from that down that way this year thanks to the season changing to the wet. Good opportunity for boys to come up and play a bit of rugby. Yeah, plenty of new faces there this year. Shout out to all the wives out there oh, watching the stream. Yeah, all the wives, partners. Thanks, Greg, for that Mount Franklin. Dragons quick line out. Oh, that's a good jump. Any lift where you get H off the ground is a good lift as well. Excuse me. Sharon with the ball. Oh, great little tap on. H looking to, what's he going for this year? Fifth or sixth? Eric Johnson medal in a row. <laughs> I don't know. Third? Is it? <laughs> oh, that's it. Ah. Cynical play, intentional knockdown there from the Pirates have given Dragons their fifth penalty. Seven all, ten to go. What do you do here, Greg? You take the point? Yeah, he's taking the points. Ed Sheeran has pointed to the posts. He's told Nick to line this one up. 
and uh, Dragons will look to take the lead. Yeah. Heading into the last 10 minutes of this half. I like this ref. He's good. He's uh, he's consistent and he's letting he's playing good advantage and seems to be pretty clear in his yeah no, decisions. He's doing a great job. What I've seen so far. Should we give him a nickname? The well, he kicked that on the McMillan's road. 10-7. few of those Dragons boys are, look like they might be looking forward to the half-time break. Yeah, they've been working hard. Dragons, are, I think they're getting <coughs> used to playing with a, an empty bench. So just a score update, it's Uni 7, Dragons 10. Yeah, little, we need a little scoreboard adjustment there, so it's, yeah. We'll turn over there, Pirates now, with some rare possession in Dragons territory. Butcher with a scamper, but he's a little bit isolated there. He's got much support from his backs, and the Dragons' defence got up quickly, and they've pilfered that. Kick through, a from little kick through, and here we go. A clean recover. catch, and they won't. They won't. Well, I was going to say they won't catch him, and they didn't. And he'll take that under the sticks. And that is a great counter-attacking try by the Dragons off a little bit of. Uh, Lazy play from the Pirates. Butch, Butcher caught with the ball with no support. Dragons with a quick turnover and a quick feed out to the left there. Uh, Ed Sheeran, uh, heavy involvement, and, and Nicky with a little grubber. And a great bounce for your... Uh, Mika. Mika, the fullback. He's been impressive yeah. tonight. Yeah, he's a good player. I think um, Uni probably weren't used to not being under massive pressure and mm. just lost their structure a little bit. Yeah, put that try down to the Dragons' defence. They were, they were up quick. They put the pressure on. They know Robbie Butcher is the go-to man in attack, and if he finds a bit of space, he he is their danger man. But he was a little bit isolated there. He got got the ball flat on the back foot, and uh, good turnover from H. It was it was a great turnover from H. Beeman, this will go on to McMillan's Road. A little bit more gentle with that one. Let's hit the Cougar stand and bounces back. 17 points to 7. Dragons over Pirates. This Just over 7 minutes to go. According to our clock, there might be a little bit of injury time. back from uni <coughs> oh ball lost there Ref's calling for a sub. He's coming on James Truer. Impact player. Coming on for Andrew. Not too much feedback on the uh, 
Streamline, Greg. We must be doing a good job. Yeah. Um, we got Shorty watching from the Pirates. Yeah, great, great uni Pirates player. Best in best in her family, oh. I've heard. <laughs> Miles ahead. G'day, Shorty. About 253 people watching the stream at the moment, so that's good numbers. A thousand. <laughs> Shubert with a little kick back in field. How's the bounce? It's and he's thrown that onto the left this time awkwardly again. That's oh, he's nearly put his foot out there. Beerman looks to kick, runs it. Dragons hold on to it. Game's gonna, opened up here. They're going to try and put some more points on here before half time. On the attack again. 35 out. They go down the short side. Sheeran changes the angle. That's his first carry tonight, Ed Sheeran. Oh. It's through. He's away. Chip and chase. Oh. Isolated, can he offload? Oh, good support from the fullback. Ball's loose, and that's a penalty to Pirates. What's he called there? In from the side, is In it? From the side, yeah. Yep. 5-2, the penalty count now. That is a fantastic penalty. Seven penalties in 36 minutes. That is fantastic. We encourage that. Which puts that one out. 35 out from his own line. Lineouts have been a bit scrappy for the Pirates. They'll be looking, I think, just to get to the half time break. You can hear Wisey, Wisey's voice there calling the line out. They win it. Bit of a scrap again. And they go wide, and there's a bit of space. And we've got a two on one. He's held that. Well recovered from the winger. They look to shift again. Butcher with a quadruple cutout pass to Wise Sekatoga. Harini goes for the intercept. He misses it. We've got a three on two. He's back, put back to his winger, Davy Taylor, but a poor pass. Ball goes to ground. Davy Taylor might have been hard to stop from there if that was a clean catch. But just a little bit wrong footed on the pass. He had uh, wires back inside him, but he's looked for his speedster on the flank and missed opportunity there for Pirates. Yeah, un unlucky pass for touch there. Something out of nothing from their own 30. The widespread was on there. No ball. I was talking to Wise earlier, and he told me that he's Fiji's highest rated Uber driver. Oh, my father. Oh, that's a knock on, but he's called knock back there. 4.93 stars, he told me. Bit unlucky to the Pirates. I'll give him a five star. It's amazing. He's been playing senior footy here in the NT for about 15 years, but he's only 24. Yeah, we well, started when he was nine. Midfield bomb. Midfield bombs are underrated. Pirates have put it back. Nick Beerman with a bit of space here, and he's, he's found his fullback who's what got plenty of space. Finds the excitement machine. He'll put, put on that on the left move. foot. The inside runner's offside, but the fullback's not. Pirates have knocked on. And he's called play on, and the clearing kick is not out. Ed Sheeran. Oh, Sheeran onto the right foot. Oh, Fittler. Chasing. And Pirates will tap that down. That'll come back for a 22. That's pretty good footy. That's great footy. Side to side. Expansive. End to end. That's what well, they end end to halfway. Two minutes. The ref's calling two minutes. So our clock's are only out by a minute. So two minutes till half time. I think Pirates will be happy to go in with the same score line. Butcher with a 22. He's gone high and deep. 
And into the light. Oh, a bit of win there. They've missed that. The Dragons have mistimed that. Ben Parks, big contact. Bit of space out wide. Oh, heavy contact again. Is that Ed? Yeah. And a turnover. Ed's biggest hit since the shape of you. Beerman, he's controlling well at 10. Oh, prop to prop. You've got to love that. It's just the prop show at the moment. Quick offload and a, a big barging I'm run. I'm assuming they're props. I, I probably shouldn't assume. You're correct. <laughs> Sheeran, isn't it halfback? Oh, here we go. This is danger for the Pirates. Oh, ball's gone down. This is danger for the Dragons. But they won't catch Davy Taylor. He's up over the 22. He's going to take that underneath the sticks. No, he's going to score it. Just 10 wide of the post. Opportunistic try. Really looked like Dragons were going to capitalise there. They had a three on two. The ball's gone to deck. Dave Taylor. That's about his 30th try this year. He's a speedster. You put him in open space. Look at him go. The drive. drive. He's got that ball in the right hand. He's pumping. He's not even looking back. He knows he's going to beat anyone in the comp. He takes it around. 17-12. Kick to come. Just like that. And the game turns on the a dime. The game can turn on a dime. Robbie Butcher lining this one up from about a similar position where he kicked the ball between the post for a, for a goal. He's obviously got a sense of humour, Butcher. I reckon it's deliberate. Shout out to Sean Walkup. He's watching on Aaron Ruddick. Oh, my good mate Pete Mayo tuning in. Oh, Peter. Butcher puts it through. 17-14, half-time, President's Cup, Dragons, Dragons, Pirates. Legend Peter Mayo. That's his full title. Pete Mayo. Oh, what a machine. There's 223 other people watching. I just thought I'd mention those three. <laughs> Shout out to the other 220. South Darwin coach, Jack Horner. He's watching on. G'day, Jack. What'd you make of that first half, Greg? It looked like to me that um, Dragons probably dominated possession and territory, but... Yeah, I think um, Uni made the most of whatever opportunity, generally, whatever opportunities came their way. But yeah, it's just that loose carry at the end to lead to a 70 metre try. Um, yeah, I think that's extremely fortunate for university there. They come in half time with this score line and devastating for the Dragons mentally. Yeah, I think um, Uni pretty scrappy in the forwards, in the set piece. Yeah, Dragons dominating probably most facets of the play. They'll come in now into the second half. Pirates will have a little bit of a breeze behind their back. Um, so Dragons will need to be aware of the Robbie Butcher kicking game. Wingers will need to set a little bit deeper. Um, it's there for the taking. 17-14. President's Cup. Anyone's game. JP. Battle for uh, top spot on the ladder. Yep. JP doing a great job out in the middle. JP is fantastic. Let's get JP up every weekend. And put the hat around. What do you reckon uh, Robbie's talking about there? I think he's saying if I've got the ball and I get tackled, someone clean me out. <laughs> <laughs> you got to do it in a funny voice. Though. I can't do the word. I'm 
Getting my hands on the footy and nervous you know, being with my mates. I like like having fun. Certainly Saturday morning and, and turning up at our local grounds with all my friends and just playing a, a match. I just love playing with my mates. Being around with my friends, having a good time. I like being outdoors. It just makes me happy. We must have been 10 or 11 and the parents um, started arguing and fighting amongst each other. Trying to encourage but in probably a little bit of a degrading way. It's pretty embarrassing when someone's shouting at you halfway through the game. Watch your passes. You're so bad. You're not that great. People yelling out that, yeah, useless or whatever. But they come out like sometimes rudely because they're being yelled from the sideline. It's really quite um, demeaning to the people who are participating in the game. Well, sometimes it makes me sad, but sometimes it makes me angry at the same time. Well, it makes me feel like I'm useless and I can't do anything. And I saw a father bashing his own son. And all the parents were arguing with each other. The winning is more important to the parents and the kids who are just out there to have a good time. Yeah, we just want to have fun and the people on the sidelines sometimes make it a bit hard for you. And if it just keeps chipping away to them, eventually they'll either one, drop out of the sport, or two, just purely not enjoy it for what it's meant to be. Just stop, stop. Would you please, like, stop yelling at me on the court because it's making me feel like I can't do it anymore. Just stop. What are you doing? You're like, you're, you're tearing this kid apart. Take a step back. Realise that it's not about you. The wind's not yours. Shush, it's just a game. Tell them to stop and just let kids have fun and be free. Support and encourage your kid. Things like good job or good pass. You're good, just keep trying and you'll get there. Oh, that was a great job. You're doing great. Try as hard as you can. Well, when I'm playing, I might want to hear people being enthusiastic and like being cheerful and not like like being angry or anything. Let kids be kids. It is about the kids and it is about letting kids be kids. Just let us have fun, let us do what we love. Just let kids be kids. Let kids be kids. Let kids be kids. Let them have fun while playing sport, which is why they're there in the first place. We're just here to have fun. Just let kids be kids. for the top end, the hottest sevens in the world.
love and life, rugby is safe. must have been 10 or 11 and the parents um, started arguing and fighting amongst each other. It's pretty embarrassing, like swearing and inappropriate language. The yelling and the taunting from the sidelines. At things that kids should have done when they don't do something perfect. Just stop, stop. Support and encourage your kid. But also when you hear that like, good job, you did great. It is about the kids and it is about letting kids be kids. Let kids be kids.
Ed Sheeran, ball in hand. We'll feed the scrum. Dragons on the attack. 35 out. They've got an attacking line set both sides of the ruck. Harini takes, picks and goes. The old 8-9-15 move. The 15 didn't get it. I'll shift Huey's up over the 20. Straightens up. Loose ball, but that's play on. That's knock back. That's knock on. He'll play advantage here. Dragons grab it, and that'll be a scrum food. Dragons with all the ball in the first few minutes of this second half. The clock's not quite right there. We're, we're probably two or three minutes in. And Pirates will probably look to use this breeze and hoist downfield. Robbie Butcher. You can expect to kick here. Well, they, they look like they've got numbers out to the right here. There could be a little attacking raid. What are they up to? Are they feeling cheeky or feeling safe? Well, yeah. why Secretary or Dragons uh, pulverise that scrum? So Butcher will clear, and that is up over the halfway line. Great kick. Yeah, look at that. I was right just over the halfway line. Looks like um, Uni Pirates have brought their ice skating team on in the front row. Four man line out from Uni. It's a Dragons ball that they certainly haven't matched them in the numbers there. Dragons win that pill easily. Cut ball from Beerman. Dragons spread it wide. Put onto the boot. Davy Taylor. Little knock on there. No, he's called play on off the knee. Interesting. Davy retains possession. Pirates shift. Butcher will heel pump that downfield. Plenty of space there. Is it going to hold up? It's just trickled over the try line, and that'll be a 22. A little bit too much on there. You can hear that wind now coming through the microphone effects. Little breeze that's right behind the Uni Pirates back. And you can probably expect a bit more of that from Robbie Butcher this half. Yeah, I think he will take advantage of that breeze. It's really picking up. Nick Beerman takes charge of the dropout. And that's out on the full. No. Yes. And that'll be a scrum on the 22 centre field. Pirates ball. Pirates on the attack. 17-14. The clock is not right. It's probably 10 minutes ahead. We're probably at about the 44-minute mark. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty accurate. Thanks, Greg. I watch for a little Robbie Butcher dart here. He hasn't taken the line on too often. Big back line set to the left. Big Isaac out in the centres. Why Secretary at eight? He may pick and go. James Truel putting in the hard yards at prop there for Dragons. Pops out the back. Good push from James Truer. That's another Dragons win in the scrum there. They've unsettled the attack. Oh. And that's a knock on. No, he called it knock back. Pirates retain possession, but they're driven back to near the halfway, and he's given a penalty to Pirates there. Off their foot. Dragons players off their feet. Wise looks to take a quick tap. Off the mark. 5-3, the penalty count. Eight penalties in 45 minutes on gobsmacked I love it
Conservative kick there from Butcher. <coughs> James Drew will go back to him slotting into the front row there. Uh, but he's been around the Dragons for a while. He had he had a season with with the Rabbits about eight years ago, I think. Yeah. James? No, he's been a, a loyal servant to the Dragons. A loyal customer of JJ's car hire too, James True. One of Darwin's leading car hire specialists. Sheeran, Sheeran under pressure. Grabs that. Handles it well. Good clean out from Dragons. Little H. <coughs> Pick and go. It's T. T with a yeah. strong run. Let's play on. He's called play on. Oh, I like this ref. He's letting the game go. And Dragons have cleared that. They'll look for it. Oh, no. So Dragons have cleared that just out of their 22. Pirates ball. Pirates on the attack. Actually, um, T asked me before last week's game to give a shout out to his lovely Mrs. Ella Baker. Um, missed it. So. G'day, Ella. Welcome to the stream, Ella. Hope you're watching at home. Or somewhere. Benjamin Parks. Oh, and there's short a short arm. arm. What have we got there? Numbers in the line out, perhaps. Closing the gap. And I don't understand those signals. Up, up early, maybe. Up early. He's roughing at a high level that I'm used to in Darwin here. So. Well, that's interesting. Pirates have caught a scrum here. Dragons have dominated both set pieces. Ed Sheeran, do you think he's going for a breather or a bit of work? Blood bin? It's unusual to see him substituted. I think he's he's got a concert later and he's got to start his oh, vocal warm-up. He's probably going to go and tune his guitar. Yeah. yeah. He said that he actually um, drinks golden syrup before he sings, so... What a fearless leader. He's coming on, Nick. Now, what's the ref doing here? Is he... Oh, he's just waiting for the... Substitute to come on. Nick Barlow replacing Drew Sheeran. So Pirates with a short arm off the line out. They've called for the scrum. They're on the attack. They're just on the 22. Now you might notice that um, Nick Barlow's haircut slightly different from last week and... It was a, a bit more frayed out, a bit more peacocky at the back, and uh, a bit more wild, more wild mullet is how I would describe it. And he said that he went into Barlow's Barber and received one of the best haircuts of his life. Ball to on the attack. And another quadruple cutout pass, Davy Taylor. The fleet-footed Taylor. Pick and go down the blind. Butcher's, Butcher's found a bit of space there. He'll be hard to stop. And he scored in the corner. That's very smart football from Butcher. A very, very short blind side. Dave Taylor takes the ball to ground, retains possession, and Butcher sees the space on a maybe one or two metre blind and races 25 metres. And Pirates are in the lead. Here we go. We'll watch the replay. The set, great clean out from the centres, and away Butcher goes, and he's dummies back inside and scores the try. JP having a drink there, well deserved drink. And Butcher will look to convert his own try. Once again, just reminding you that clock's probably about 10 minutes fast. We're probably at about the 50th minute mark. So plenty of time. He's got the wind behind him and he's kicked that from the sideline. Great kick from Robbie Butcher. Another great loyal customer, JJ's car hire. And mechanical. Quarter road prep. <laughs>
Just looking for a football so we can restart. <coughs> Excuse me. Pirates on the attack again. Making good use of the breeze behind their back. Dragons with a pilfer though, and that's play on. That's knocked back. That's a good steal. There's a bit of space out to the right. They truck it up. That's great refereeing again. He's played advantage. Beerman puts that onto the boot. And gets whacked for his efforts. And that's gone through two Dragons players and, oh, he's kept it in. Fettler puts it on the right boot. Here's Isaac with a rare touch tonight. A great player, former NT Mozzie Sevens flyer. And that's a good run. He's run about 30 metres there. Pirates getting a little bit of the upper hand now in this... First part of the second half. Yeah, they got the wind in their back. I think that breeze has picked up as well in this second half. A bit flat-footed there, the Pirates. No one advancing the ball, but a great run. He's got that up, 40 out. I'll go back to the short side. Little pop ball, that's a little knock-on. No, he's pl play on. Oh, I love the ref that lets the game go. Second target. Oh, what a pill. Oh, and that's gone forward. No, play on. Dragons ball. No, he did call it. He called it forward. No advantage, Dragons. Dragons scrum and feed. About 30 out. It's time off. I wonder what Sharon's up to. Yeah, Sharon has it. He's there. You go. He's there back. You go. He's got some headgear on, so that he's obviously got a little graze to the scalp. Maybe a bit of blood. It'd be hard to see with his red hair. He might wear a hat at tonight's concert. <laughs> <laughs> I could see him wearing uh, one of those little short br brim all-around hats. What are they called? Fedora. Fedora. Very small one. Well, he is currently touring in Australia. Maybe he'll wear an Akubra. <laughs> Maybe, with corks. <laughs> Uni Scrum looks good there. Hits Nicky on the short ball. Little H into space. Picking up metres. Oh, Parksy with a turnover there. T, good tackle. Big contact, knock back. The space in the open field, and turnover. there's a turnover. And that's a clean turnover, and I'll... It's play on again. It's so good to see. Pirates there. Lucky to not get penalised. Defenders coming in off their feet. Once again, it's play on. The game can flow. Listen to those plovers. They're loving this game. Another big carry. Ben Parks. Oh, just missed it at first crack. It's a tight tussle here. Plenty on the line tonight. Knock back. 
It's a clean pilfer from the pot. It's play on again. How good is this? The whistle is not getting blown. The game can flow. Pirates will clear here. Butcher is going to put that back down the left side. And he's found space. And it's a quick line out, Dragons. No, he's called. Dragons have touched that. Yes, Pirates ball. Well, that's a big, that's a turning point. That's a big play. Robbie Taylor. He's got the arm up. Pirates way. Touched by Dragons. Well, excuse the language there that's come through the effects off the field. Yeah, it travelled away. <laughs> <laughs> it did. did. It. Pirates uh, with a little injury there, so we've got a substitution coming on. A lot on the line here tonight. There's a spot on top of the table. We're in round six. So the... T the the teams are all meeting each other for the second time. It's the President's Cup. President's Cup's played between the two top teams at the commencement or the second time they play each other, which is yeah. round two. In B grade, it's the Secretary's Cup, which I think... Who took that is uh, next time Casuarina play uni, I think. Let me just check that. So some mid-season trophies on the line, which is always good. You can see in the background there, Aaron... Hawthorne, Palmerston coach, watching attently. Yeah, so the Secretary's Cup B grade will be next time Casarina play. Pirates, Casarina currently 5-1 and one in B grade. Another great record. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's held on to that. That's great work. Good, good catch. That looked quite awkward, but it was effective. Hard to read a ball like that coming into the yeah, breeze. Yeah, yeah, the breeze held that up, didn't it? Palmy attacked the short side. Isaac again, big charge. Strong tackle. Uni, not Palmy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Pirates shift wide. Dragons have got the numbers. Oh, oh Wisey with a no. Look, the flyer, Taylor. Already one try tonight. Great counter ruck from the Dragons, and they've got that back, and I think they've got an advantage here. No, it's a knock on advantage. Greg, as the clock ticks over the 60 minute mark, seven penalties in 60 minutes. We don't often see that up here in, in the NT. No. Or, you know, even, even in recent times at the higher level, it's, it just lets the game flow. It keeps the niggle out of the game when the guys aren't getting penalised all the time. I think they're too tired for the well, niggle. that's it. They're, they're concentrating on playing footy rather than worrying about every stoppage. Yeah, it's been an exciting I'll give game. JP a 9 out of 10 so far. 9 out of 10. Let's see if he can get it up to the 10. we got... 20 minutes to go, roughly. 20 to go. 21 17 to Uni. President's Cup. 1v2. Ed Sheeran feeding the ball. He's got headgear on. He's had a little bit of time in the blood bin. Gregory that's a great Smith. offload. And Dragons are away. They're up over the halfway. That's forward. But he's going to call play on. And Pirates have got it now on a counter. And Dragons, there's no clear release there from the tackler, but he's going to... And he's given that to Dragons. Well, I think Pirates were a bit unlucky there, but great defence, Dragons, not releasing. And Dragons, Nick Beerman, he'll, he, he's got a good boot on him. 
He'll put this deep into Pirates territory. Well, into Pirates territory. Mate's game on, 20 to go. This is exciting. Yeah, that's it. Strap yourselves in at home. Strong line out from Dragons. Very strong once again. Set piece has been a feature of their game tonight. Put a rest drop will be very happy with that. Shout out to Peru. You're watching the replay later on tonight. Yep, shout out to, um, to his son Cody. Tuning in from oh, um, the sunny coast. coast. Yep. yep. From the... Playing with the... Uh, Calandra, Calandra White Coast. What houses? Lighthouses. Lighthouses. Mm. That's a big kick again from Pirates, but cleanly taken by Dragons, and they're up over the halfway now. 40 out. The The defence is very flat, but that ball was a bit loose, and once again, and he's just going to play a knock-on there. That's good. We've got some subs coming on. Looks like for... The Uni Pirates and Dragons are making some substitutions. Yeah, it looks like Andy Mann coming back on. No, James True has been sent back out. Turned him around. Been quite an even battle between both packs tonight. Great game of rugby. Very physical. And Pirates have got a, a, a new half on, which is a loose pass. Ed Sheeran, one, two, picks up, and he scored. <laughs> Opportunistic try. JP there, right on the spot to award that. And Sheeran's a noted soccer player uh, from the under twelves. Sanderson. Good to see team. that on the replay. I think he, I think he got a left foot and a right foot. Right. Nah, two rights. Clean pick up. Right hand rolls over and grounds it. A big smile. Bit of tongue out. Gee, he's loving and, and it. And JP, the ref, right there, jolly on the spot. Big scrum there from Dragons. They put the pressure on the halfback. He got a poor pass out to the 5'8", Robbie Butcher, who couldn't handle it. And Ed Sheeran makes the most of the error, and Dragons hit back. It's 22-21. Kick to come. President's Cup. We've got 16 minutes to go. Disregard the clock. It's 10 minutes fast. Plovers are chirping. Nick Beerman, he's about... 20 in from touch, 22 out. And he's pushed that to the right, so that'll remain 22-21. Look out here, this is a, bit, a little bit of, you know, Greg, myself, field goal specialist, as you know. Yeah. We're in field goal territory now. Especially Robbie Butcher. I mean, he's got the breeze to his back. He got the uh, he got the trifecta last week against South. Conversion penalty and a drop goal. Win behind his back, 22-21. That could be an option for the Pirates. I'm thinking extreme long range, 65 metres. Is that extreme, is it? <laughs> for, re for regular humans, <laughs> we're not talking about you, Jimmy. Of course, you know, you've, you set your own standard here. Pirates kick off. It's a loose ball drag and secure it. Ed Sheeran, he steps up. He looks for his 10. Decides and, not to chip. And Dragons will... I'll try and bash this out. And there goes Bim. And he looks back to the right. There's a bit of space there. Dave Taylor was a little bit shallow. 
Oh, puts his team under pressure. Oh. Oh. Scrappy ball. And it's Dragon's ball. It's a knock on by the Pirates, so it's Dragon's ball, Dragon's advantage. I'd say that's advantage over now. Once again, great refereeing, letting the game go. Nicky in two minds, he's dancing. And Pirates, let's look for that, not releasing. Is that Ben Parks in there again? <laughs> a lot of people were finding angles there after that clean out. And that was uh, it's great work from the Pirates defence. That's 5-3, the penalty count, or maybe 5-4. Fettler puts it on the boot. Butcher tackled just into the Dragons' half. Just a quick recap in other results today in B grade. South Darwin defeated Swamp Dogs 52 points to 10. Palmerston defeated the Casarina Cougars 38 points to 22. And the Uni Pirates beat Dragons on forfeit in the only other A grade clash today. Casarina Cougars defeated the Palmerston Crocs 29 points to 10. And that pushed the Cougars up into second spot pending the result of this game. Butcher plugs that down deep into the right-hand corner of McMillan's Road. Hasn't gone out. Dragons will look to clear. Just short of the halfway. About 40 out, 10 shy. We've got about 12 minutes of play. Dragons 22, Pirates 21. It's three tries each. It's a scrap fest. Wysikotoga from the scrum. There's no winger. He's deep. He goes himself. He's offloaded to his winger. Dragons have cut him short. And Wise looks for the quick pick. But they've got Pirates for no release. And Dragons hold on. Great play from the experienced Wysikotoga taking that ball down the short side. Dragons winger was back deep, expecting the kick from Butcher, and Beerman will clear that, oh, only just over the 22. Did well to hold on there, Dragons. And Pirates have pilfered that, but what's he called? Two balls on the field. Two balls on the field. 
Try scorers tonight for the Pirates. Robbie Butcher with two. Dave Taylor with one. Robbie Butcher, three conversions for the Dragons. Hank and Lewis, Nick Beerman and Ed Drew Tobin Sheeran. Nick Beerman with two conversions and a penalty goal, which is why they have the one-point lead. That throw not straight. Pirates feed. 20 out with a good wide blind side for Sekatoga if he wants to go again. Butcher will probably take this wide. Look for Isaac out in the centres. We've got eight minutes to go. Approximately. 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 Good scrum. Steady scrum. Pirates marching forward. Maybe looking for the penalty. They don't get it. Butcher takes it. He puts a little grubber through. The chase is not there. And Dragons. Oh, they've fumbled it. They're claiming the try. If they go to the video ref, do they come to us? It'd be nice to see a little replay of that. I think Dragons eventually secured it. And they're going to play the 22. Great refereeing by JP. He just makes his mind up, makes the call, and does it. That's why they call him the JP. JP. He's now at nine and a half out of ten. So for those not familiar with the rules, Pirates have put that into the in-goal area, and Dragons have grounded it, hence the 22 dropout. Pirates have let that bounce. Taylor with the ball. Finds and the he'll drone. Hoist that back downfield. And, and it's out on the out full. The Robbie Taylor on the sideline all over that. And that's a big relief for the Dragons. They'll now have a line out. 38 out on the attack. 22 21. Discipline good by the Dragons. They need to make sure they don't give away any penalties in their own half. Robbie Butcher, he'll certainly take the, sh the points. And a pilfer there by the Pirates. Great steal. Oh, he's had his legs taken out from the kick. We'll play on. That's probably a penalty in rugby league. Butcher still down on the ground. He's not in a good way. His legs were taken out in mid-air. If we can get a little replay on that. He's back up now. Probably a little bit winded. Probably maybe looking for the penalty. Pirates win the line out, but Dragons take the loose ball. Pirates take it back. It's certainly a big exchange of possession, this game. Butcher, he puts that one. He finds the grass. Here comes the chase. It's a good bounce for Pirates. They've got the ball. They're on the attack, 35 out. And there's a loose ball. It's a knock on. Dragon's ball. Oh, it's come out it's again. It's come out again. Finds Nicky. And he's hoisted that. And he's found touch. Pirates will go on the attack here. No, he, well, he's called that taken back. So that'll go back to where he kicked it. Robbie Taylor's calling taken back. So can't kick it out on the full. Good call from the assistant referee. So that'll be a Pirates ball from where it was kicked. Line out. About five and a half to go. 22-21. 1v2. President's Cup. Round six. November 28. Pirates, Pirates marching it forward. He's taken that on. He's only a metre out. Oh, he's knocked it on. He's gone for the pick and drive, and it's a knock on. And it'll be a Dragons ball. Just a little bit loose there. Yeah, a bit of lack of patience, I think, from Uni. The great position they were in. Dragons will slow this down. They'll catch their breath. Experienced players will take control here. No one has left this game, Greg. 
crowd on the edge of their seat. They got their money's worth tonight. Maybe we'll take a collection at the gate, get JP back oh. for next week. I'll buy his ticket. Sponsored by JJ's car hire. <laughs> put, put on his shirt. Give him a hat, at least. I'd love to look after the referees. They do a great job. The unsung heroes of sport. Shout out to all the officiators of sport on the stream and just in the, around the world in general. Doing a great job, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Sharon to Beeman. Oh, probably not as deep as he'd like. There'll be nervous times here for the coach, Puru. Dragons are the specialists of finishing off the game. They know how to do it. They've got a good experience. They'll need to be careful not to give away a penalty here. Pirates need to be patient. Dragons need to hold strong in D. Pirates take the ball. Oh, and nice. he's given away... What's he called there? Uh, Is that pulling pull, down in the line out? Down. I thought that. Yeah. It did look a little bit dangerous. He's gone to the time. We've got an injury. Sarah Polhill from the Uni Pirates comes out to attend to the Fantastic. She's been like volunteer of the year for about eight years in a row. An icon on the NT rugby scene and doing a great job again tonight. Shout out to all the volunteers oh, out there. I love volunteers. That's Ben Parks there. He's back up. He's okay. Interesting stat. Ben Parks um, hasn't received any punches this game. Normally he's up around the one or two mark. Well, mate, at a penalty count of 6-3, so that's nine penalties in 78 minutes. He doesn't have time. The players don't have time for the niggle and to punch each other. They're playing footy. It's end to end. It's side to side. Butcher has pointed to the post. He's about 15 in from the sideline. He's right on the 22. This to take the lead. And we'll let the crowd tell the story. Well, there you go. He's got it. Got it. Pirates hit the front, 24-22. There can only be a matter of minutes left. Disregard the clock. It's 10 minutes fast. Fortunately for Butcher, he got his bad kick <laughs> out of the <laughs> way early in the game no, today. he got it. He kicked it straight through the middle. It just wasn't a field goal or a penalty. It was a chip kick. JP doing a great job. Beerman. Dragons will need to get possession here as soon as possible. Wisey's just tapped that back seven style, but Dragons have jumped straight onto that. Now Pirates need to be careful not to give away a penalty. Big H takes it up the middle. They're 22 out. And here we go. This is where Dragons are the specialists. This is their meat and two veg here. This is it. This is what they did. To both South Darwin and the Cougars in the last two grand finals, they mauled it up to victory. So they're looking to do that again. On the ground, not looking well. It's a loose ball there, and it's a knock-on. It's a knock-on. There's a player down injured, so timeout. Pirates will have the feed. They're deep in their own 22. This is probably the last roll of the dice for Dragons. They're going to need a big, big scrum. We've got a, looks like maybe a potential head injury. JP, look at JP. He's down there. He knows.
time, nearly up on the clock. Second target looking to get some air into the lungs in the traditional breathing exercises. <laughs> That's a good sign. The Dragons player is back to his feet. Yeah, it'll be a relief for the Dragons. Excuse me. Good to see him back up. Hot save. This is potentially the last throw of the dice for Dragons. They need a tight head. They need a big push in the scrum. This could be the last play. It's a Pirates ball. I don't think the Pirates will risk anything here. I think we'll, we're going to be looking at a big Robbie Butcher kick downfield. Dragons back three, uh, nice and deep. Crucial scrum. JP on the spot to officiate it. Midfield, 20 out. There goes Butcher. He's put it high and deep. Finds the excitement. It's a found touch, and there's no quick line out. Good kick chase from the Pirates. Outside backs. It's a Dragons ball. They're about two metres in their own territory. JP, he's got, he knows what, he's got the clock sorted. I mean, he's setting the line out mark, but he's also stamping his authority at the same time on this game. Mate, he was down for that head injury. He's everywhere. There's the hooter. Referee has the time, though. Dragons Great with the ball. Out. Great line out. Midfield on the halfway. That's phase one. Pirates leading 24-22. Dragons will need to retain possession. A kick now will prove fatal. There's a turnover. Now has that been thrown out or kicked out? Time out. That's been kicked out and Robbie Taylor's confirmed that and that's full time. JP's called it. Great game of football, 24-22. That's what the people came to see. University Pirates, President's Shield winners. President's Cup, 2020-2021 wet season comp. Pirates take the President's Cup, three tries each. Robbie Butcher kicked three conversions and a penalty. Nick Beerman, two conversions and a penalty. That was the difference. Uh, very evenly matched game though um, nothing in it Pirates made great use of the breeze behind their back in that second half and that very opportunistic try right on half time to Dave Taylor gee that was a May, might have been the pivotal point. yeah Dragons heavily on the tack on the attack could have scored turnover and Dave Taylor raced to 70 metres thanks for joining us on the live stream thank you it's been great thanks Greg thanks Jimmy See you next.